So the idea is that we ought to look where? What directions? What direction? Up. We know it from many ways, many instances in the Torah. When Moses and the Israelites, their first fight out of Egypt, who they, they fight? What nation do they fight? The Amalekites. The Amalekites don't have any uh, straight military agenda. They just kind of, it's a guerrilla uh, fight. So it's hard to even expect. And two men, Yehoshua Binun and Aaron, had to hold his hands up. And when they held his hands up, they were winning. When his hands went down, they were losing. Why? Because he's a magician. Well, he had some powers, I guess, channeling God. But the idea is that he was pointing up. Look at God. That's how you're going to win against the Philistine, the, not the Philistine, the, um, the Malachites. Same thing with the Philistines. It's the same idea. But the, don't be distracted. Keep looking up. What's the other up? The menorah. The menorah is up. This image of the seven churches can be like the menorah. These are seven candles. Right? With the, the, the menorah itself is a community. It doesn't just teach us about community. It is a community. Right? You have the six candles and the one um, what we call shamash. Right, to uh, light the other candles. That is the high priest. That is the priest. That is the spiritual leader of a community. God tells Aaron, the high priest, your job, what is your job? You have one job. Aaron, the high priest, had one job. What was that job? To keep the lights up. Literally. Not just to flip up the... To keep the lights up. They used to do it in the fire, the eternal fire, is that they, even when they were changing the wick, the wicker, they would still, um, have the, to have five, two candles at least burn. And then they would change them this way. There's always have to be this fire going up. That's the direction. Each Candle is a person. The point of a spiritual uh, leader is to keep the view of the people up. That they're not distracted with anywhere else.